Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Blended, released in the year 2014. The movie opens up with a middle-aged woman, Lauren Reynolds, talking on the phone with her babysitter, Tracy, asking about her children. Tracy, who's looking after Lauren's sons, Brendan and Tyler, lies to her, mentioning that her sons are fine. However, Tyler is roaming around the kitchen holding a burnt t-shirt, and Brendan is holding a fire extinguisher. Brendan puts out the fire with the help of the extinguisher and also sprays it on Tracy, making her completely covered in white foam. It turns out that Lauren is on her first blind date after her divorce and is angry because the boy called her to a restaurant called Hooters. She cuts the call short after informing Tracy that she'll be back home soon. Meanwhile, Jim Friedman, who's waiting for Lauren to arrive, finishes his drink and feels like drinking more. He picks up Lauren's glass of beer and drinks it in a single go. Soon, Lauren arrives there as Jim is her blind date. When she starts talking with Jim, he does not pay attention to her and instead concentrates on a game happening on the television. Additionally, he focuses more on the appealing waitresses who deliver him cheese sticks in the shape of a heart. Enraged, Lauren eats some spicy, sauce-glazed buffalo shrimps and finds it to be extremely hot. She searches around for a drink, but after failing to find any, she spits it out. Seeing her behaving abnormally, Jim makes an excuse, ditches Lauren, and cancels the date. In the next scene, Lauren is talking to her best friend, Jen, at their workplace. Lauren vents her complaints about the date, and Jen tries to console her. While Jen is talking with her boyfriend, Dick, Lauren tries on a beautiful dress and regrets not trying hard enough to save her marriage. On the other hand, Jim can be seen working at Dick's business store with his friend, Doug, where they sell a lot of sporting goods. Here, it's revealed that Jim has three daughters, ESPN, who claims to be able to communicate with her deceased mother and is named after Jim's favorite network, Lou, who's wild and adorable, and Hillary, who's frequently mistaken for a boy due to her tomboyish appearance. Jim tells Doug about his awful blind date experience from the previous night. Hearing this, Doug suggests he date a plus-sized woman named Cindy, mentioning that she's very good at making men happy. Later, when Jim returns home, he tries to talk with Hillary and catches her putting something inside her bra to appear more girlish. ESPN also refuses to talk to him, mentioning that she's conversing with her mother. Finally, Jim goes out with Lou, who has stickers all over her face. Meanwhile, Lauren takes Tyler to play the Little League baseball match, but her ex-husband, Mark, refuses to attend the game at the very last moment. Just then, Jen arrives there and informs Lauren that she's going for a vacation with her boyfriend for a week. Meanwhile, Tyler, who isn't very good at baseball, fails to connect a shot and becomes frustrated because of his bad performance. Lauren, however, manages to bring Tyler home and puts him to bed. When she checks on Brendan, she finds Tracy's cutout head pasted on a sexy model's poster. Seeing this, Lauren is shocked to find that Brendan has a perverse obsession with Tracy. Later at night, Jim visits a supermarket to get tampons for Hillary. Surprisingly, Lauren also arrives there to replace the centerfold photo of a model which she tore some moments before. Soon, the two of them run into each other at the supermarket. Jim helps Lauren to select the actual magazine she tore the picture from, and Lauren assists Jim to find out the size of tampons suitable for teenage girls. Unfortunately, when they're paying at the cashier, their credit cards exchange. The next day, since the cashier at the store messed up their credit cards, Jim goes to Lauren's residence to return her card. While Jim and Lauren are talking, Jen arrives there and mentions that she broke up with her boyfriend, Dick. She mentions the reason is that Dick has five children and she does not want herself to be looking after them. Jen also states that their vacation trip to Africa is now canceled. Soon, Jim finds out that the Dick Jen is talking about is actually his boss. Hearing this, Lauren asks Jen to allow her to go on the vacation while Jim calls Dick to ask him for the African trip. In the next scene, both of the families reach Africa and start enjoying their time there. Suddenly, Brendan notices Jim and assumes that he's following his mother. Neither Lauren nor Jim are happy to meet each other. Jim clears to the children that they're not dating and requests the trip manager, Mafana, to provide them with different rooms if possible. 
Unfortunately, Jim and Lauren are placed in a romantic suite while the kids stay in their own room, which only serves to make the matter more awkward. During dinner time, as they've arrived there for a mixed family moon, and there is no empty table around, both the families are forced to share their table with a weird couple, Eddie and Ginger. Eddie is an elderly guy and Ginger is a young girl, with Jake, Eddie's teen son. Hillary instantly finds Jake attractive and falls for his charm. With Brendan calling his mother hot and the other children unsure of how to respond to ESPN acting as though her mother is present, the children leave an unpleasant impression on one another. Mafana, their trip manager, serves as the host for the dinner, and the band of African performers, Nickens, usually performs for them and follows them around. Later, during a basketball match, Jim humiliates Hillary when she tries to get Jake's attention, prompting her to flee in tears. However, over the course of time, the kids gradually form connections with each other and with each other's parents. Jim develops a friendship with Lauren's boys by teaching Tyler how to play cricket with one of the best bowlers, Dale Stein, bowling to him. Tyler misses two of the balls and gets upset. Seeing this, Jim walks up to him and motivates him to face the ball with confidence. On his third attempt, the child succeeds in hitting the ball over the park. Next, Jim joins Brendan to accompany him in practicing some boxing, since he's aware that the youngster wants to vent his wrath on him. Later, Lauren goes up to Hillary and asks her why she likes to dress up like a boy. Hillary tells her that since her mother died at a very early age, she has no idea how to put on makeup and wear fancy clothes. She also tells Lauren that she likes Jake but has no idea how to impress him. Hearing this, Lauren takes Hillary to a salon to give her a makeover and also tells her that she will pay for everything. During dinner, although Jim is upset that Lauren is trying to control his daughter, he changes his mind after he witnesses a complete change in Hillary's appearance. She arrives for the dinner looking incredibly attractive and also manages to draw Jake's attention. In no time, Jake starts liking Hillary and the two begin dating. With days passing by, Jim and Lauren slowly grow fond of one another. They unintentionally meet up for a couple's massage and enjoy each other's company. Jim gives a massage that helps Lauren relax, and Lauren also tries to do the same. At night, after they return from the massage session, Lou, who's still awake, requests Lauren to put her to bed. Without a second thought, Lauren agrees and takes Lou to her bed. Lauren then sings a poem titled Somewhere Over the Rainbow for Lou. She is unaware of the fact that Hillary and ESPN are also awake and that she's unintentionally sung the poem that their mother used to sing for them. With this, Hillary and ESPN also start developing a soft corner for Lauren. After the girls fall asleep, Lauren gives them goodnight kisses and leaves. The next day, Lauren decides to give parasailing a try. She has a good time up until the vehicle that's pulling her runs out of fuel. Jim tells her to move her legs to make the landing easier, but the parachute falls over him and knocks him down. On their last night in Africa, Lauren wears a stunning black dress that Jen suggested to her earlier. Seeing her in this attire, everyone is surprised, including Jim. While the kids are having fun, Jim and Lauren attend a separate romantic dinner and start enjoying a special meal. Here, Jim reveals that he is the one who planned the romantic dinner for them, making Lauren happy. A small group of monkeys amuses the couple while they talk about their different parenting experiences. They come close to kissing, but at that very moment, Jim turns away, hesitant to do it. When Lauren inquires about what happened, Jim replies that he doesn't want to betray his late wife and his daughters. Unfortunately, Jim ruins the beautiful moment and Lauren walks away from there. The following day, everyone returns home. Lauren regrets the fact that she won't get to spend time with Jim. At the same time, Jen tells her that she's giving Dick a second chance by agreeing to meet his children. Lauren then tells Jen about how Jim backed out from kissing her at the last moment, and Jen replies by saying that Jim is an idiot. Elsewhere, Jim also realizes that he has started liking Lauren and confesses his feelings in front of his daughters. Hillary and ESPN are excited to hear this, and ESPN doesn't want Jim to lose Lauren, even though she isn't ready to get over the loss of her mother. After his daughter's approval, Jim travels to Lauren's house to propose to her with a beautiful bouquet. 
Unfortunately, when he knocks on the door, Mark opens it and informs that Lauren has gone outside. Mark then reveals that he and Lauren are trying to be together again. Tyler becomes excited after seeing Jim and wants to play cricket with him, but sadly, he's silenced by Mark. Following this, a heartbroken Jim departs from there. Later, when Lauren returns home, Mark tries to make a move on her, mentioning that he wants the relationship back. Hearing this, Lauren laughs for a while and reminds him about his affairs with numerous girls after their marriage, and also tells him that he can never be a good father. She clearly refuses his proposal and walks away. The next Saturday, Jen, Dick, and his children accompany Tyler, Brendan, and Lauren to Tyler's baseball game. Even this time, Mark does not show up, making Tyler sad. Surprisingly, when Jim and his daughters arrive there, a distraught Tyler becomes happy and gains some confidence. Jim cheers for Tyler and suggests he hit the ball like he did with Dale Stein. With this, Tyler strikes the ball long and wins the game for his team. After the game, Jim approaches Lauren and finally confesses his feelings for her. Lauren also mentions her desire to be together, kissing Jim, much to the delight of their children. In the last scene, Nickens and his band are performing while floating over a field in a hot air balloon. Nickens nearly falls from the balloon, but is securely brought back to safety. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.